Hey guys, this is Dexter from Dexter's Workshop. Uh, uh, in this video I will uh, try and show you how to perform FFT analysis on uh, uh, on your signals, on your uh, video signals, uh, using a couple of uh, very common tools. Uh, what I'm using for, for this is uh, it's a sound card. Uh, right now I'm using a Fast track uh, M Audio USB card. As software, I'm right now I'm running uh, Linux uh, Ubuntu distro on a small notebook with the Intel Atom uh, 1.5 1.6 uh, gigs uh, dual core or dual thread. I don't know with uh, two gigs of RAM, and I'm using. Uh, J A A A. Uh, it's a, an analysis software that runs under uh, under Linux, uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, it's using the sound card as the input and output device. W on what I'm going to perform uh, signal analysis will be on uh, my model of Clear Booster. It's a guitar booster. Uh, that uh, uses a BS 170 uh, MOSFET transistor. Uh, the schematic is uh, the one that was taken from the application note from the data sheet. Uh, and uh, it has some uh, change values and some uh, added parts to, to satisfy my needs uh, um, regarding the sound. Uh, so uh, I will try and show you what happens with the signal when uh, um, you increase the gain um, and how much gain can you achieve from a booster that is uh, running on a 9 volt uh, supply rate. For that I'm going to give you two views, one from my oscilloscope and one from uh, the screen of the analyzer. Uh, and, uh, well, you are going to pull out the conclusions regarding this. Uh, as I said, it's a FFT analysis that it's running with a standard 1K sine wave as an input. And the output it's fed into, into the uh, sound card and uh, analyzed by, by the software. So. I guess we should start now. I'm going to to start with the initial uh, with the initial condition, and then I'm going to show you what it's happening when you increase the gain on the booster uh, regarding the frequencies and also regarding the the signal. So that's, that was the, the end of the test that, uh, that I've made. Uh, I've made it uh, with uh, two things in mind. One to show you the, the tools that you need to, to perform such, uh, such tests. Uh, there are very common tools, as I said. And uh, the, the second reason that I've done this is to... Uh, demonstrate that you can't have a very big amount of gain uh, with the um, with the pedal that is uh, uh, using a 9 volt uh, supply rail uh, so a maximum of 20 dB of clear gain is achievable but as you may might see uh, there are a lot of overtones involved so uh, the, the original signal 
it's uh, it's modified in a way or another. Uh, after you go into the clipping domain, a lot of overtones are added to the to the original uh, to the original signal. Uh, I'm not going to pull uh, any public conclusions on this, uh, as I told you, I'm going to keep my opinion for myself. Um, but uh, we can comment and discuss uh, uh, about this test and uh, if you like any other uh, experiments or any other tests that I can perform I would be glad uh, I will uh, gladly do it um, if you have any questions regarding the software or the hardware involved here please uh, ask and I will gladly uh, answer them so uh, I hope you will find this video interesting and uh, also it will help you in the in the future. Uh, if you like it, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please do comment and uh, thank you for watching this and have a nice weekend.